Let's bow. Most gracious God, there's a tall order that you ask us to be peacemakers, but we want to be identified as your children. And I pray God that every single believer, every single one of us that calls us Christ followers or Christians, that we will stand up and look like them that we will act the way you would have for us to act, that it won't just be a slogan that says, what would Jesus do? We would actually do it, that we would keep silent when others are rearing and jeering at us because we recognize that, no, we don't have to be a doormat, but if we can maintain our peace, maybe the logic, maybe the understanding of your miracles that have been worked, then we'll Delve deep into their heart. Yes, they might have harmed us, but God, we want the harmony. We want them healed. God, they might have put pain in our path, but we want that path to be one to purpose. God, they might have meant it for evil, but God, we know that you'll turn it around for good. They might have done us wrong, but we know you make wrong things right. They might have put a roadblock in front of us, but we know that they might just see to the corner, but you see around it, that you can climb any mountain. You can get us over any sea. You can bring a bridge over troubled water. And if it's not there, you will create it out of nothing because that's what you do best. You are the God that is more than able to provide. Provide. You are the one that is able to get us to our purpose and you'll allow us to help others along the way. Thank you, Lord, for what you do in our lives. We just ask God, help us to maintain that inner peace. Help us to guard our hearts, oh God, so that as we guard our hearts, nothing by no means is able to do to us what you did not want us to be able to work through. We're going to bless you for it. We're going to honor you for it. It's in Jesus' wonderful name, God, that we do pray and give you thanks. Amen. Well, it truly is my prayer today that you become more peacemakers for his glory, that you will then allow some of those injustices to just roll off your back, just like a duck, like water running off your back, and that you will be able to walk into this week knowing that your focus is fixed on what God has planned for you. Stay at peace, guard your heart, surrender it all to the Lord. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of your week. I'm Dr. Shante Haynes with Heart to Heart Truth Ministries, helping you put feet to your faith so that you can walk victoriously. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of your week.